Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some trying out some new products by NYX. Uh, we are trying out a lot of new products that have been sent to me recently. And if at all you do follow me on Instagram, okay, I'm still here. If at all you do follow me on Instagram, then you know that NYX India sent me a lot of products. And there's also a giveaway going on as I make this video right now. There's a giveaway, a huge giveaway by NYX going on on my Instagram. So today we're going to try out all these products which they sent and not all but a couple of them i'm not going to be trying out the foundation you guys know if you were on the live stream with me then you know that testing out a foundation for me was kind of a task and i'm still not sure which is the shade for me out of all the foundations that they've sent and they've sent me 15 shades of foundation uh but i did try out this and this is the shade classic tan which is the closest to my skin tone right now but i haven't worn this on my face today uh because i'm still not sure which is the foundation shade for me i mentioned that in the video today i'm going to try out these palettes by nyx uh, this is the cosmic metals palette i'm not trying out this one however i will show you guys the swatches of this palette i feel like this is pretty much a smaller version of this big palette it has almost four to five shades from this one so i feel like both of them are pretty much the same and that is why i did not use it in the video and i used only this one which you guys will see me use almost four to five shades from this palette have been used on my face and you will understand whether i like it or not while i'm applying them it's going to be a chit chat video it's going to be a pretty long video so if at all you do want to grab some water something to eat or something to drink or whatever it is then please grab it right now pause the video grab it and come back the other thing that i am going to try out is the nyx blush cheeks palette again i have an opinion about this as well which you guys will get to know in the video and obviously a lot of other products which are on my face are also by nyx this video is not sponsored by nyx I just wanted to make that very very clear these are just products that I have been recently introduced to and I feel like these are pretty cool products as well some of them are some of them are not in my books and that is my opinion you don't have to fall for it but that is how I feel about it and I'm very honest about my opinions and you guys know that so yeah there are a lot more products as well but I just wanted to sh uh, share with you guys these palettes right now I do have uh the nyx primer as well which i don't need to speak about right now but i will so i have the nyx primer this is the photo loving primer which i have been using for uh i mean on and off i don't use it in my videos i like to use the matte primer with the spf 50 but this is the one which is by nyx and what i'm mm -hmm. trying to say here is that the next time i understand the shade of my foundation by nyx i'm gonna have like a full-fledged just NYX base makeup video which I'm trying my best to make and this is the NYX HD finishing powder which I have used in my very long ago videos I do like it but I'm not sure if I like it as much but I'm gonna try using it with NYX products to understand if all of these together work well or not so that is why I wanted to speak about that also they sent me uh in case you were not on the live stream I think I will just sort of give you a little bit of okay i dropped some things the table in front of me is by the way flooded with makeup right now it's just flooded so there are all these brow products that they've sent and then i thought my battery just ran out and then a lot of lip products a lot of just a lot of things which i don't want to open up right now i don't know why i did still but we did have a live unboxing of this and in case you guys want me to make a video of these next products unboxing video let me know i will definitely do that i would love to do that because unboxing videos can be fun i realized that when we had the live stream on and in this video you will not see me apply the base makeup you will only see me apply from the blush onwards the blush the highlighter and all of that now if at all you're interested in knowing how these products have worked out on me or not then please keep on watching let us start with the cheek palette this has eight shades in it and all of them look so pretty you guys they look so 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 damn pretty and what i like about it is that all these shades are new to me like i have not tried any shade which is closest to these shades so i'm gonna take this brush and dip it into this like dunk it into this and let's try this out I do like this actually it's a very nice early morning pink shade pretty light on the skin 
And I'm just gonna blend it into the bronzer which we have applied earlier. So they also have two of these very shiny blushes over here. The rest of them are all matte, but I think these two are the shiniest ones. They look like foiled eyeshadows to me, but I'm sure that you can use this one as a highlighter as well, but I'm not going to try doing that because I have a separate highlighter today. For my eyeshadow base, I'm definitely going to go ahead with my MAC Pro Longwear Peenily Paint Pot. You guys know I love using this one and you should be using a brush, but my fingers are clean, so that is why I just always dump into this with my finger itself. I do want to mention one thing. This is a completely foiled eyeshadow palette and this one has a few matte shades, like three of them. So I want to try this one. I'm taking the brown shade over here and I'm using my crease brush. I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush, which is Pro Art brush number 230E. And I'm taking it and I'm going to be applying this shade first on my entire eyelid. It seems pretty powdery, you guys. It is definitely just sort of all over the place, okay? Not happy about that. That is a lot of fallout. You see that? I'm gonna do it again. That's a lot of fallout. My whole palette is already in powder. I don't know what to say about that. So I'm just gonna be using this all over my eyelid. Oh my God. That's a lot of fallout. I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelid. I'm applying a very basic shade on the eyelid so that later on it will make our job easier to blend any other harsh or darker shades in case I do use darker shades. Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and oh my god, this is too much fallout like look at the lid already the whole thing here is already full of powder i'm gonna go ahead with this brown shade here and i'm taking my brush which is a crease brush this is by revlon and i'm dunking into this shade right here and oh my god i just can't look at myself in the mirror it's that i'm placing this color into the crease I'm just gonna cut my crease. It's definitely pigmented, no doubts about that. I do like this brown, you guys. This is definitely one of my favorite browns, but I'm not liking the way it's working on me. Like. You see, there's so much fallout happening. I'm just going to take a clean brush and just going to blend it in so that it doesn't look as harsh. Buffing it very softly just so I don't want it to look like a very smoked up look. For the eyelid, I'm going to go ahead with this shade right here. I feel like it will match really well with this uh, brown next to it, the one which we've already applied onto the crease and as a transitionary shade. I'm really not liking the fallout and I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. So I'm just going to be placing this all over my lid and I'm going to take it all the way up to the crease. This doesn't look as pigmented to me on the eyelid. I mean, you do have to work with this shade. You definitely have to put an extra effort. You have to go in again and again with the color. It's not bad, but it's not as pigmented as the matte brown. For my inner corners, I'm gonna go in with the small brush and I'm placing it into this shade right here. It looks like a very bright champagne gold sort of shade. Very, very powdery, you guys. It is so powdery. Let's try it out. I don't like it here. I'm not liking the way it's looking on my eye. It's so powdery, it doesn't stay in that one place. I definitely need like a fixing spray or something to be added into this eyeshadow. 
but yeah i'm not happy with the way how powdery this palette is if i had to go in for this i don't know i probably would only for the pigment with these matte shades but i'm not sure about the foil shades this is gonna be a long ass video and i can already sense it i'm gonna take my flat angle brush i'm gonna put it into this color right here and i'm gonna be applying it outside my lower lash line this is working pretty well This is definitely pigmented. I'm gonna go in all the way inside. I, I'm not liking the way that gold is looking on me. For my brow bone, I'm gonna take the small eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna put it into this shade right here, which is also very powdery, no news anymore. I'm gonna apply it onto the brow bone. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use this brunette uh, pencil. It's called the 3-in-1 Brow Pencil and it has a crayon over here. I think it has something else as well. Oh, we did not see this yesterday on the live stream. It has a smudging end over here and it has a mascara on the other side, which is a brow mascara. So I'm just going to open this up now that this is already opened up. I'm going to try with sort of stroking a little bit, very lightly. I'm just gonna fill in wherever needed, but you guys know I don't like filling in any gaps. Let's try and fill in this gap. Okay, so you can use this side to sort of smudge the crayon. Let's try this out. It's, it's a very small, tiny wand and the same shade, obviously. Okay, so this is pretty light for me and I should not be using this. I'm now using the black mascara on this eye. I finished this eye already and I do like how this is working on me. This is very very pigmented you guys so you have to be very careful with this. I like it better than the Maybelline brow gel. Let me tell you that. Okay. It's definitely giving me that very thick brow look. I do have thick brows, but I don't have very thick brows. Like my brows are nicely filled, but it's giving me like a prominent brow look, which I'm not very used to. I really like how it's working on my brows, but I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of, you know, comb through this. I took like 25 minutes to do my brows right now because I'm not sure the way my brows are looking right now, if it's even acceptable because I'm not used to this brow look for myself. Anyway, I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm gonna use this highlighter right now. It's called A Wavy Glow and it's in the shade Daytime. So I'm gonna just put this onto, it's a liquid highlighter. So I'm gonna be applying it onto the high points. Pat it into my skin. Love this. Not bad at all. You can, you know, sort of build it up as much as you like and I'm obviously gonna do that because you guys know I love highlighters. So I'm just gonna do that as much as I feel like it needs, you know, it looks nice. And to finish the rest of my makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my falsies. And after this, I actually went ahead and used the Plum Nature Studio Kajal Pencil for my eyeliner as well as my inner waterline. And I'm using this pack lip liner. I think it's in the shade red. That is what it is probably called. I will mention it in the bottom bar below. And to fill in my lips, I went ahead and used this all day long lasting liquid lipstick by Stila. It's in the shade Beso or Biso. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And for my setting spray, I'm using the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And I'm just gonna pat it in with my beauty blender. I feel like the blush has become a bit patchy. Like it's just not there over here. It's just literally come off and I could feel it even while applying, I mean, while applying the rest of my face makeup. I'm gonna go again, once again, with the same shade which we used earlier and sort of go over it. 
it's a nice palette for sure you guys like i really like it but i don't understand the point of it just vanishing away by the end of not even the full tutorial so i'm not sure about the pigment of this like it definitely looks pretty pigmented if i swatch it like if i do this it's definitely there if i do this it's definitely there but on the cheeks if it's not gonna stay for that long but yeah otherwise it is pretty colorful and it's really nice but i don't think it's gonna stay long like my Too faced long lasting blushes obviously this is not a long lasting blush but it should last at least for a couple of hours but right now i don't understand why it started like come off of my face even before i was about to step out of my house thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed watching it this was kind of different than the normal regular videos that i do i feel like i should do more videos like this more often but this was very talkative and i can already sense that this must have been a long ass video and i'm really sorry about that but i can't always have voiceover videos i haven't filmed a video while speaking so it's been a long time i hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you did like it Please give me a thumbs up, write your thoughts in the comments below. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat. Have a great day, stay beautiful, spread a load of happiness and a ton of kindness. Bye guys.